Well, this omega-3 oil from the salvia scleria does not have any contraindications of that nature. Even people who are on aspirin or anticoagulants, not that I recommend those drugs necessarily, but some people are on those drugs for good reasons. And if they are, now they can get an omega-3 oil that does not change coagulation in our blood. And therefore it is safe. And it has been shown to be safe for all age groups, even for children, for babies, for feeding mother, breastfeeding, and for pregnant women. Because it accelerates the transmission of stable ALA into the embryo or into the baby, which nature would have done anyway. But because we don't eat enough of these ALA foods anymore, and because we eat too much of the omega-6 fatty acids, we are an imbalanced society. And by taking this omega-3 oil, we are bringing ourselves a little closer to the balance we would have had in nature. This is important for our hormonal balance as well. But the anti-inflammatory benefit is what interests most people. Because people who suffer from pain, even from infection, people who have not enough energy, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, brain fog, these people especially need an anti-inflammatory substance that is safe, non-toxic, and comes with all those additional medicinal components. These people benefit most from taking this product. People sometimes say, what, what, what about little babies? Babies need DHA in larger amounts because the brain is developing. In those cases, I would say that it's a probably appropriate to take for a short amount of time DHA from algae in addition to ALA. Because remember, DHA does not contain ALA. And fish oil does not contain ALA. It's missing. So for a short time, in the first year or two, the mother can take a little bit of algae DHA when she's breastfeeding so that the, her body is sufficient and she can transmit more of the ALA to the baby for production. A small baby can also get a little bit of DHA from algae directly. Uh, but once they reach age three or four, they probably will be fine just on the ALA as long as their diet is not excessive on animal fats, animal proteins, and refined foods. Then they will do sufficient conversion and they will get the brain development as they need it. Adults have the best results with significant improvement in brain clarity. People who try to lose weight, people who try to improve their lipid balance. This oil has been shown already and I've seen a lot of the lab reports of people who have used it just for two months. Amazing reduction in LDL cholesterol. That's the one that when oxidized can cause additional plaquing. It's not the main source of plaquing, it's not the main cause for plaquing, but once you have inflammation, the inflammation can lead to degeneration of the walls of your blood vessels. And then the body tries to repair the damage by putting cholesterol on your arterial walls. LDL, when oxidized, becomes a problem. That's why we all want to lower our LDL cholesterol. Not too far, but we want to lower it to be healthier. Most people who have cardiovascular problems have LDL that's too high and HDL that's too low. With this type of salvia scleria oil, omega-3, we have seen the best changes in reduction of LDL cholesterol and increase of HDL cholesterol and normalization of lipids stronger than anything else I've seen so far. Improvement in blood pressure and other cardiovascular risk factors. So everybody should balance themselves with some omega-3 and improve their diet anyway. But this omega-3 is perfect for those who are looking for that edge, how to turn their body around to reduce the inflammation of cardiovascular disease and to reduce the LDL cholesterol so everything improves cardiovascularly in addition to the issues of blood pressure and cardiac arrhythmias which have responded really well in clinical practice so far. 
There's a lot more that can be said about this in relationship to other forms of oils like chia seeds, like flax seeds, like fish oil and others. All the studies and all the scientific reviews that I have read and they are going to be made available online to anybody who's looking for them. All those studies indicate that the common chia seeds and the common flax seeds have more problems by comparison and insufficient benefits by comparison to salvia scleria seed oil and let the studies speak for themselves. I hope that you had a good time talking about this new and exciting omega-3 oil and I look forward to any questions or comments and the actual name of the company that manufactures this omega-3 oil is called Marvalous, M-A-R-V-A-L-O-U-S. Their website is marvalous.com. They're in the process of tweaking their site for America as a market. And I look forward to um, communicating with each and every one of you if you have questions about this oil or have any concerns or if you cannot get access to the scientific articles, we will make them available to you. Good luck and stay healthy.